Hi, I'm Jonathan from Some Talented People. So tip 44 is about the culture you create. So either you're a micromanager and even when you have staff, you find yourself checking their work, looking over their shoulder, making sure you force them to do things the way you know how to do it. This kind of culture essentially wipes innovation and creativity out because if you make out that a mistake while trying something new is a bad thing, people won't try something new. You have to, as a business owner, let people understand that you reward efforts. You reward trying new things. The ability to try a new process of working or a completely tangential idea is something that occurs to quite a few people you'll find but they never get asked and more than that they feel that the culture of the company doesn't support them so they keep their mouth shut certainly you'll I would think think back sometimes when you've worked for other people and you've said oh yeah but and they've gone not now I'm busy that person never raises their hand again. It's the way to kill creativity. And clearly the world we're living in now, creativity and innovation is probably the only way you're gonna survive. So maybe have a scheme, have a bonus scheme, have a, I don't know, a Friday night out with your team, no more than six by the way, um, but you have a night out to reward new ideas and innovation maybe have an email account for innovative ideas something whereby you are actually making innovation part of your everyday functioning if you do that what will happen is supposing you've got five or six people brains working with you for you that's five other perceptions than you have and because of that information, you'll be able to move to places to try things that you don't even know about at the moment. So create the culture and you will see that people's brains are fantastic when given authority. Okay, you have a great day. I'll see you again in the morning.